rock. A one leg. Yeah. Cool kid sneak. Blow me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she a couple, couple, couple years younger, but she fatter than a motherfucker. Ass fatter than a motherfucker. Uh, she got her own, she don't need no picking. She get it, yeah, she got it, so you know I'm gonna get it. She my NYPYT. She my NYPYT. She my NYPYT. She my pretty young. Hey beauties, I got fed, so let's get right into this look. Sorry for the wait, but let's just jump right into it. So starting off, I'm going to be using my Milani um, eyebrow pencil, and I'm just going to be outlining my eye basically, and I'm um, getting that shape in. Now I'm not having the best eyebrow day right now. I did get them waxed, but um, whatever. Anyways, moving right along to um, my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow pull mat, and I'm just going to be filling in whatever I um, shaped out, whatever I outlined basically, and just fill in all those spaces in very lightly, nothing too major. You don't want to add too much product in it so it don't look too bulky and stuff, but that's basically what I'm doing there. And now moving right along, I'm going to be using my Fawn LA Girl Pull Concealer to just clean up whatever I um, um, put on there. And I'm just going to be shaping my eyebrows, um, just, to, just to the shape of my eyebrows basically. And um, don't worry, I'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial and all that, so I'm not going to get too much into it, but just watch and see. Alright, so using my Tartlet and Bloom palette, I'm gonna use, be using the first, the last three colors that I had there and on the bottom. And basically, I'm gonna start with the lightest color and I'm gonna go in with my crease and just um, basically apply that with my blending brush in there. And now I don't specifically use like a whole bunch of different brushes when I'm doing my eyeshadow, that's just me. Um, only if I'm getting really technical and I'm doing a certain, there's a certain eye look that I'm going for. But other than that, I kind of just stick to using one brush, it kind of makes it easier and less time consuming as well but um yeah so I'm gonna start with the lighter color and going with the the second lightest and then I'm gonna go in with the crease with the darkest color that I had in there and I'm gonna leave the name of all my products on the bottom so don't worry um, just look on the bottom and they're gonna be look in the description box I'm sorry and they're gonna be from from the order that I have it here so no worries And make sure you blend that out, blend, blend, blend. Now using my um, Shawnee Cosmetics palette, what I'm doing, I'm just gonna be using a copper glitter. So what I'm doing to add that, to make sure my glitter kind of pops out, I'm gonna just use this color here because it's it's pretty similar to the color I'm gonna be using. Just so therefore, just so my glitter can have like a base color on the bottom so it can stand out more. And just dab it on there. You don't have to put too much and just, like I said, just dab it on there. You know, dab. <laughs> All right, now using my NYX glitter primer, um, basically I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm just gonna apply that glitter right on top of that color that I just put on. And um, try to just put it wherever you know you're gonna put glitter so therefore the glitter can stick to that exact location so your glitter doesn't go all over the place. And it makes it a lot easier, you know what I mean? So you don't have a whole bunch of glitter fallout and stuff. So I'm just gonna put that on both, both eyes there and then next I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna apply my glitter in just a few seconds. Now this is the NYX glitter, glitter, um, glitter. <laughs> I'm sorry, and um, copper, and I absolutely love this color. Like I feel like it's a very, very summery color, and I've been into these glitters lately. I don't know if you can tell, but on my Snapchats, I have been killing this glitter. My Snapchat people are probably so tired of me. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna be using this. I think this is an Elf brush that I'm using. Like I said, don't worry. All my products are gonna be in the description box below, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a separate video on my brushes. But basically, I'm just dabbing this color on with my brush here, and wherever I place the glue is where I'm dabbing the glitter. I'm 
sorry. Yeah, just go back in and just try to fill in any little any little corners that you think you didn't put any glue. And, I mean, I'm sorry, any glitter, and you'll be a okay, D. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go back in with that same brush that I used to put those colors in, and just kind of just um, go back in and fill it in, just to make sure I don't have any glitter all on all on the top creases or anything like that. And then now I'm gonna be taking my L'Oreal Gel, L'Oreal Infallible Gel Liner, and I absolutely love this liner, especially whenever I have glitters because it makes it a lot easier, and it is very very. And it's, I think this is a shade darkest black. I'm not doing them too thick, but just a little something, something, you feel me? Alright, so these are my Holy Grail foundations. And um, I know the clip was kind of short, but this is the Maybelline Matte Fit Me and also the Super Stay. And my shades are, are in the darkest shade, I believe, like Coco Cocoa. And I'll leave those in the description box. But these foundation right here is everything. Like, listen. If you do not have these in your drugstore collection, you need to get with it because, honey, these are life, like legit. And um, there, I, I use both of them together because one of them matte and one of them is kind of it's not matte, but it's just a regular one. But um, I use both of them because I just love the coverage. And then you can build this coverage if you want to. You don't really have to, but because I kind of want to, I'm gonna do it. You feel me? I want it. I'm gonna buy it. But yeah. go all on under your neck and stuff to make sure it matches with your skin because you don't want all this discoloration but I love this because it matches me perfectly with no you know what I'm saying and don't worry it's a little bit orangey but it's all good once I mix it in and blend it in it'll be all good now anyways moving along to my L'Oreal now listen these are everything like if you want to go super cheap and not go buy all those MAC NC45 and all those prolonged wear consider that MAC has like listen these are some great dupes for these and I'm using warm honey on top first just because I kind of want to like a broad highlight I want something that's going to kind of stand out since my eyes are popping you feel me and then I'm going to go over it with my fawn and I'm going to mix it in together and make sure you have a damp beauty, beauty vendor I'm sorry and um I like to kind of let it sit sometimes just so it can make sure it soaks into my skin. <laughs> it sounds funny, but it's true. Just so I can make sure it gets all up in there. And then um, <clears throat> next I'm going to get my beauty blender and I am going to blend it. Make sure your beauty blender is clean and make sure it is damp. It's damp, not too damp, like, you know, where you can see the, the, the stuff, like the water dripping off or anything like that. But just make sure it is damp. You feel me? And just blend, blend, blend. And listen, the key to a good looking face is make sure you blend. You have to blend everything out. Because if you don't blend, honey, you're going to be looking like, I don't know who shot John. But you're going to be looking crazy. So make sure you blend them things in, okay? And like, I am absolutely loving the way this is coming out. Like, I love it. Like, I don't know. I'm not too much into like a lot of highlight like that. But I do like it. Like, I really do. You see, I like it. <laughs> And I also took another beauty bin and just to blend it in some more. And then now, of course, Ben Nye banana powder. Some people are using the Sasha um the Sasha Buttercup. I haven't got that one yet, but for now, I have been using my my Ben Nye, and it has been giving me life still. So I'm still sticking with it. You feel me? And I'm gonna go ahead and just dab this on. I'm gonna leave it on for a little bit while I do my contour. So um, you'll see how I do my contour. And for my contour, I'm actually gonna be using. A um uh I'm like all tongue tied here. I'm actually gonna be using a Mac um eyeshadow for my nose. I didn't list, I didn't picture it here, but I'll list it down below in the description box. And then I'm also gonna be using that um black radiance rich mahogany for my cheeks and then my forehead and all that. But just get into this highlight though. I mean this contour though, honey. And it's a very light light contour, nothing too dramatic. But like I said, I didn't want to do too much to my face because my eyebrows, my eyelash, my I'm tripping. My eye is already popping, so yeah. You know, sometimes whenever you have some like your eyes popping and stuff, you don't want to do too much, you know what I mean? So just kind of, you know, keep it simple. Yeah. 
So moving on, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And listen, I love this. So what I'm gonna do, that same brush that I use for my foundation, I'm just gonna apply that and use that to wipe off that, um, that banana powder that I had. And I'm gonna do a little bit reverse contouring just to give my cheekbones a little bit more of a pop. You know what I'm saying? Even though I already have a long face, but you know I'm a zone, so I gotta make sure them cheekbones popping, girl. <laughs> So yeah, just rubbing that all into my face. You know, I want to bring back some color to my face so I don't look too crazy, too pale, or too white, whatever you want to call it. And then using those same colors, colors for my Tarte, um, Tarte palette, I'm going to apply that darker color and that second darker color right underneath my eye just to kind of make my eye stand out a little bit more on the bottom, just to kind of give it like a smoky, glittery look, if you, see, if you can see what I'm going for right now. And then now this L'Oreal Telescopic, mm, I don't really know how I feel about this. I thought it would have been better, but I mean, I don't know. My eyelashes are pretty short anyway, so. But they still kind of gave me the look. They still gave me the look that I was looking for anyway. You know, I just applied them to my bottom lashes and um, pretty much went from there. All right, now let's get into this lippy. Now this is my lip combo. It's a NYX Butter Gloss. I'll leave the color down below. And then my Holy Grail lip liner is gonna be my Night Moth from Night Moth from Magna. Every time I go to pick up a different liner, I always end up just picking this one up and just going from there. <laughs> and then I also had picked up a CoverGirl lip gloss that I really do actually like. Like, I'm not, like you know, my lips aren't, I don't know. I kind of like darker colors, but I went for that lip gloss and it really made my look exactly what I was looking for. And now I'm just blending that lip liner, you know what I'm saying? You don't want it to look too harsh. I'm gonna use a Q-tip as well, just to kind of, you know, blend that in to kind of give it that ombre look. And just blend, blend, blend. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on top of that, I'm gonna put that CoverGirl lip gloss, just kind of like in the middle of my, of my lips there, and then kind of just rub my lips together to blend it in. And now, like I said, I didn't want to do too much to my face, but this e.l.f. palette right here is everything. Now, the color, now, this is everything. You know what I mean? I'm not really much of a blush person, but I, like, really like this color here. And then I'm going to be blending it in, of course. And then I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetic Wild and Radiant. Oh, I'm so sad my palette broke earlier, but it's still, you know, I still can use it. And then that's for that highlight, honey. Like I said, I didn't want to be too dramatic because my eyes are already, like, shimmery. So I just put that right up above my cheeks, my nose, you know. <clears throat> right up on my forehead and I also did add a little bit to my eyebrow to my eye underneath my eyebrow just to kind of highlight it and make it lift a little bit to make it stand out more all right so um we're pretty much almost done with this look here pretty much done actually I'm just gonna blend everything in together honey and then spray some fix plus and I love that fix plus girl spray your face with that thing to make sure you get that glow and um I want to say thank you guys for watching please like comment and make sure you subscribe and everything girl so you can get all my looks and hopefully you learned something thank you she a couple, couple, couple years younger, but she better than a motherfucker. Ass fatter than a motherfucker. Uh, she got her own, she don't need no ticket. She get it, yeah, she got it, so you know I'm gon' get it. She my NYPYT. She my NYPYT. She my NYPYT. She my pretty young thing, and I do.